Hello, we're the Mission Invertebrate team from the Royal Parks and today we're going to show you how to do some bug hunting. We'll take you through three different habitats and we'll give you some hints and tips along the way. Before we get started though, there are a couple of things worth mentioning. First of all, make sure you're very careful with the invertebrates that you come across. Secondly, make sure you put them back and also make sure that you leave everything the way that you find it. And lastly, make sure there's an adult around. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to show you how you can find bugs in areas of long grass and flowers like this patch here. We don't need any fancy equipment, just ourselves, and I'm using this old plastic container with some soil in the bottom. Firstly, we can look at the flower heads. I've got some beautiful flowers like this forget-me-not and dandelion here that are great for attracting pollinating insects like wasps, hoverflies, bees, butterflies. They're very quick though, so we'll probably just be using our eyes to see those ones. But we can take a closer look in the plants. Be very careful, we don't want to scare any of the invertebrates away and we also don't want to damage the plants. So we're going to open up the plant and vegetation very carefully like this. In damper, cooler areas closer to the soil, we can find things like snails, slugs, wood lice, and this millipede here, for example. Going to scoop it up very, very carefully and pop it onto my hand so that I can take a closer look. You can then pop it into your plastic container, have a closer look, and then make sure you put it back where you found it. Now over to Charlie, who's going to show you how you can find bugs in woodlands. I'm going to show you how to find invertebrates in a woodland habitat. Woodlands are fantastic for bugs because there's lots of places to hide. And if you have any logs in a shady area where you live, maybe you could take a look underneath. So if you get down on one knee and roll the log gently away from you, you might be able to see some things crawling underneath. And then using a spoon, an old spoon or your hand, you can gently guide them into a yogurt pot like this one. Now I've just done this and I found lots of wood lice, a couple of snails and slugs, and I also saw a super speedy centipede. If you have trees or bushes, then there's a fun way to find the invertebrates living among the leaves. All you need is a white surface, a white background, such as a sheet or a t-shirt or a large A3 piece of paper, and place it underneath the branches that you want to look at. And then use a broom or a stick and give the branches above a gentle tap. And this shakes the invertebrates and we can see what rains out. So this is a great way to find spiders and harvestmen, maybe leaf hoppers and shield bugs as well. Don't worry if you don't have a garden to do your bug hunting in because invertebrates can be found in most habitats, even on or under man-made surfaces if you look closely enough. Now I've got a few plant pots here that I'm going to take a look at. You might have one on your windowsill, um, on your balcony or maybe on your front step that you can use. Um, I'm going to have a look at the one that's behind me, this black plastic planter, and to look underneath it, I'm going to tilt it back and away from myself like this. And already I can see lots of movement. I can see ants, I can see wood lice, and I can even spot a slug. When I did that earlier, um, I found a really cool ground beetle as well. It's also worth looking on the sides of pots too, and on the side of this terracotta planter here, I've found a lovely snail. So I've just scooped it up and I'm going to pop it into this yogurt carton that I've got here. Just taking this from my recycling and I'm placing it in gently. I'm using this for my, my collecting today during my bug hunt so that I can have a closer look um, a little bit later. But I've poked breathing holes in the lid to make sure that they're okay um, for a short while. You can also look inside the plant as well, inside the plant pot. So have a look in the plant, um, on the leaves, on the flowers, taking care not to damage it of course, and then having a little look on the soil surface and just under the soil surface too. Cracks and crevices on walls and buildings, like these ones here, are also great for finding invertebrates. And you can even look under window sills because they're great for finding spiders. Good luck with your bug hunting. We hope you have fun and let us know what you discover.